Hi, my name is Irene Jomi and I'm a member of the Data School 21st cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hat graph. The hat graph is an alternative to paired bar chart. It can be used to show the difference between two values. In this tutorial, we're going to compare the quantity being shipped through first class and second class in four regions. Let's go to our sheet and let's start building our graph. The first step will be to create a paired bar chart. So we will drag region to column. We will also drag ship mode to column. And we will drag quantity to rows. You can see that we get three, four different bar chart but we only want the first class and the second class shipping therefore we're gonna filter our ship mode let's select ship mode to filters and select, select first class and second class i'm gonna untick same day and second class and press ok so now we are left with first and second class. I'm just going to make my view a little bit bigger. So the next step is to add our totals. I'm just going to go to analysis. Totals, add all subtotals. Next, we want to add our total. Click on it. Go to automatic and add. We also want to remove our label, so I'm just going to right click to format and I'm going to remove the labels for total and replace it with a blank space. We want to format our view, so I'm going to remove the colon divider and for the row divider, I'm just going to remove the header. Next, we want to move our grid lines. And now our paragraph is nicely formatted. The reason behind why I added the totals is just to leave some blank space between the region. We are able to differentiate each region. To create our hat graph, we first need to turn our bar chart into a line. To do so, I'm going to press on Gen Bar. The next step is to create a calculated field. So this calculated field is going to give us the difference between the first and the second. We want to calculate the, the difference between first class and second class. So let's create this calculated field. We're going to name it difference between quantity. Calculation is going to be minus sum of quantity plus lookup. So this is going to give us the previous value for sum of quantity. So let's write sum of quantity. and add minus one because we want the previous value. Let's remove this extra bracket and now our, our calculation is valid. Next step, I'm going to drag difference between quantity to size. And then we can see that our hats start forming. I'm just going to adjust the size. We 
we can see that our calculation is computed along region and ship but we want it to be computed along region only so i'm gonna click on my calculation edit table calculation i'm gonna click on specific dimension and we want the ship mode for each region so i'm gonna uncheck region and now we get the ship mode for each region we have now created our hot cloth we can also add some labels on our graph to do so so i'm gonna grab difference between quantity onto label change it to minus one so i have positive values then next i'm gonna click on label min and max we want to select sum of quantity with our fill and we only want the minimum we're going to change the alignment to middle middle and now we have labels for our hat graph we can see that in the central region as the most difference between the first class and second class i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i wish you a good day Thank you for watching this video i hope you now feel more comfortable creating hard graphs please check the description down below for additional material if you enjoyed that video i think you absolutely love some of our other content please click on related video thank you